Hey guys, welcome to week 13 and I'm so excited for what you're going to be doing today. The first thing you're going to look at is the SAMER model and what that is is helping you to understand how to better use the technology within your lesson, specifically your HyperDocs lesson, but really any lesson. Um, and this is going to help you to use it at a different level. And what I mean by that is a lot, a lot of teachers will just use online content for students to look at, learn from, consume is what I'm going to say. They're just taking in all that information. But the same model helps you understand how you can utilize um, that content at a higher level for students. So they are actually interacting with it. And, and you get to do an Ed Puzzle right here where you're interacting. Um, you are actually creating things to show their learning. And so um, this is going to give you a good idea about what you can do in your own HyperDocs asset to take it to that next level. Um, I do want you to explore these resources, look at a couple of um, examples to better understand what that model is all about. And then I do want you to explore these multimedia resources. But one big change from just yesterday, I made this change in my mind because I want you to use a, you, your time wisely. But I want you to explore some of these examples. Um, but you do not have to do the flip grid response. You can do it for bonus. So I know several of you have had some issues with maybe turning things in on time or getting things accomplished and done. And so you have the opportunity to make a flip grid response with the multimedia resources and the Samer model and actually get bonus points. And so you can do that so if you don't want to do this flip grid response, you don't need bonus points, you do not have to. You can spend all of your time this week on your Creative Tools Exploration Wiki. And um, this is something brand new that I have never done before. It's on Blackboard. And so it might be a little bumpy and we'll figure it out together. But what you're going to be doing, and let me just show you where that is. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm on, and your site will look different because this is the instructor perspective. But if I go to the small groups area, and then you are only going to have one group option. But down here under group tools is the group wiki. And so what you're going to be doing is following these directions. And one really big thing about this is you need to, to sign up for um, your tools that you're going to be creating. Um, you're going to be doing examples. Um, of these things. And so I'm not going to go through all this different information because you can read it. And, and my tip of the week this week to do this right, you need to read the whole entire thing. Okay. So um, these are tools that your students can use to create things. These are not websites. These are because you've already done that. These are not um, just things that they can go and read or watch. No, it is what you're going to be using to create something. And so I give you some um, what uh, spreadsheets that have a lot of tools. You're, you might be a little overwhelmed. Um, and then here's a list that I created that's kind of a pared down version of that. And then you are going to be exploring those that you've never used before. Okay, you're going to be creating four examples, um, two of them from tools you've never used. Three of the four need to be those that a student would make. In other words, um, if you ask them to do an interactive timeline on Sutori, then they're going you're going to create it from a student perspective. So you might have the name and date and a picture and an explanation and make that timeline like that. But if you want to make one that from the teacher perspective, you can do that as well. So if you're going to create a screencast video like I'm doing right now, or you're going to create a um, Powtoon video that your students can learn from, um, then that would be fine. But for only one of your examples, um, the three other ones need to be from the student perspective. And then you're going to be sharing on this wiki right here. Okay, so yours um, will show up as comments, I think, or maybe you can just, oh, you can edit it. I'm sorry. Um, like I told you, we're learning together. So you're going to edit the wiki content and you are going to put it below here. Okay. Don't delete all the directions because that's there for everybody. Um, everybody else needs to do that. So when you name the tool and give the link, that is the link to your example. You're then going to share one to two pros and cons because not nobody else is going to be exploring your tool. And then you're going to discuss how you'd use it in your first 
in your future classroom. Um, so here's your sign up. So I just did this. So you're going to add on bullet points underneath your name of the ones that you're going to choose. Okay. Um, so I tried to recap it here because I know this is a little bit confusing. But so if you have any questions about what you're supposed to be doing here, please don't hesitate to, to ask me. Um, so this means that nothing is due this week until next Sunday midnight. So you have a full seven days to do this. You should be able to do that easily. Um, and so make sure also the other thing with this, whenever you create your examples, make sure that they are shared correctly. Sometimes these tools are hard to figure out how you can share them. Some of them you might need to take a screenshot of it and share it that way. Um, and so you are going to be doing all of your sharing on this wiki right here. You are not going to be turning it in in another place on Blackboard. So just make sure um, and get started early, maybe kind of space it out throughout the week. And, um, and that's it. I hope you have a great week. Hope you guys who need those bonus points take me up on that offer. And um, I, look forward, I look forward to seeing um, all of your examples and the fun you have with this wiki. So um, have a great week.